So I'm back here in the back of the shop and I'm cleaning and sharpening the chains on these chainsaws. And I realized I haven't done a video in a while. I better show everybody what I'm doing. This is the very rear of the shop and I set up kind of a little museum, a museum of my stuff. And these are some of my CSX hats from when I worked on CSX. You got some handsets from locomotives, Norfolk Southern hats, and I don't have anything from Amtrak. But I've been real busy, and if you've watched our other channel, my personal channel, you'll see what we're up to with our other endeavors that we have. But I wanted to kind of show you, I set up this little area in the back of the shop here, and there's a reason for that. So that's the rear of the shop back there, and this is where I'm working on the chainsaws, but check this out. Yes, sir. I've been working on the railroad. This is the new shelf layout. I really had to do something different because all those carts I had that were sitting in here were just taking up way too much space. So I figured, you know what? It's a shelf layout anyway. Why don't I just make it into a proper shelf layout? And I put up these temporary backdrops. This is from our Mountain Ridge series. And really it's more of a designing idea phase. But the bench work, or I should say shelf work, is your basic box frame, and it's supported here. And it's pretty sturdy, and I went and picked up some of this insulation foam. Now, the reason I'm using this insulation foam this time, as opposed to in previous layouts where I was using a gator board, gator board is now like $70 a sheet, and this stuff, I'm talking 4 by 8 this stuff here was only 16 at Lowe's. So it made sense, and trees and stuff like that go right into it. I'm not worried about sound deadening. I don't really think I ever have. But this is what I'm doing, and I haven't decided on a track plan yet. And I put some of the old spruce buildings on there from the old spruce layout. Just for fun. They're probably not going to stay there. Obviously, this is a switching layout. And my idea at this point is to have something like a coal mine down here. Maybe a stream running through here. Bridge. And over here, some industrial switching, and then maybe a small yard. And really, that's about all I can do right now. I have to be able to manage it, and I have to make time for it. So my thought is, if I do one small section at a time, like a scene, I'll actually get it done. And it's that time of the year, it's getting chilly out, and I'm excited. But you know what? At least I've done something, right? You know the old saying, once you put your mind to it, you can get things done. Well, my brother and I actually built these shelves in just one afternoon, and I used a lot of the wood that we had on some of those carts, and then I had to buy a little bit extra. But I'm really happy with all the room in here. There's room to expand if I ever wanted to, or if I wanted an industry to come off of here, and I, like a bump out, something like that, I could do it. But that's what I've done so far, and if you're interested, you want to see what we do in our personal lives, you're more than welcome to visit the other channel, which is I'm Joey Ricard. It's youtube.com slash I'm Joey Ricard. Obviously, no apostrophe. But we're going to start working on this. That sounded heavy. <laughs> 